What's up everybody, I'm Max Preston, and today I'm bringing to you guys some amazing gameplay on Hijacked. Now, the first thing that I'm going to start off talking to you guys about today is what I'm doing right now, and I'm running through the bottom of the map, and I'm going around making sure all the corners are clean, because people are going to come like I expected, so there was a guy, my first guy, so this gameplay today is going to be insane, and an insane 76 and 9 game for you guys, so this game is going to be freaking nuts when I get my orbital VSAT, my swarms, and dogs, and all that shit is going to be rocking, but today, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about how to rank up faster, because this has been a question that has been proposed to me several times, but I really just haven't gotten around to make it a commentary for it, so I chose this amazing gameplay for you guys, so you can understand some of the tips that I do for myself when I'm trying to rank up, when I'm trying to get to a certain gun that I want to use, I use these tips myself so I can use them and get up onto some nice high levels of the prestige so I can use that gun that I want and get a gameplay with it or something like that. So the first tip that I can give to you guys, depending on who you are, like what you want to do when you're playing Call of Duty, when ranking up faster, you can really rank up a lot faster. If you play like demolition, you can do a lot of demolition playing and planting the bomb is going to get you a lot of points because what you do when you plant the bomb is you get those points and then when it blows up you get even more points and if someone defuses it you can continuously go back and back and back to get those points and also playing domination is a good way to rank up so if you notice someone who only plays free for all and then you compare them to someone who plays domination you'll notice that the person with domination is going to have a lot more score even though they might have the same exact amount of kills person who plays domination is going to have a lot more score than someone who has plays TDM because TDM you only get 100 points per kill no matter where you are on the map now if you're standing on a flag in domination you can get 200 points per kill or if you're standing on one of your flags you can get a plus 25 bonus and you'll get even more for that so it's really awesome the way that that works for domination that you get the extra points while playing so it's really nice to help you rank up and it saves up over time you'll notice it that it will like savor it and those 25s will build up and it could even equal an entire rank at one point so it's really nice to stand on the flag sometimes get a couple of kills and shit like that running around especially in demolition demolition is really good for getting a nice spawn trap on the enemy team if you have like a full team of friends if that's one of the people that you like to do if you're a solo gamer then you kind of got to play domination as an easier way to cope with this situation of ranking up faster but if you have a full team on demolition and you get this nice spawn trap where they can't leave the map at all and they can't leave their side then you want to make sure that you can plant the bomb and then maybe move back and have your team fall back and you guys can keep doing that and trading off and planting the bomb and shit like that because then it gets really exciting for your team and you get a lot of kill streaks and you can get a lot of points and it's really fun to rank up a lot so I definitely recommend playing with a team and playing some demolition because that is an easy way probably the easiest way of ranking up if that's what you're trying to go for or if you're solo gaming I recommend playing domination and what you can do when you're solo gaming is try to cap the easy flags like the first flag straight off the bat is an easy 50 points and then what you can do is just kind of play objectively really in domination I'm like one of those guys that like to play more of kill wise and then objective second so gotta make sure that I put myself before the objective because if I put myself before the objective then I know that if myself is better than the objective like I'm trying to explain this to you guys in the easiest way possible but if I play for myself and then for the objective myself can help out the objective kind of skill playing so when I get up onto my orbital VSAT that's where I'm gonna go in cap a flag or two make sure that my team's okay check up on them give them some help on my orbital VSAT and then call on my canine unit to help them out even more or if they're just getting pissed at me because we're winning anyway then that's just their problem to deal with and we're just gonna win the objective anyway so basically playing around with different scenarios in your head can really help you out with different situations that you can go into in domination and shit like that like capping the flag at B and then maybe moving up and pushing up or coming back depending on what you want to do where you want to move on the map and where you think the enemy team is so yeah I was always gotta be watching right there I just got my merciless was pretty cool so this game actually wasn't too big of a kill game but I do get a lot of score going on and I've already died once so you're not gonna see me die any more and the second half is gonna be even more intense than the first half because I do get a lot of kills with my swarm you'll see the feed going non-stop it'll be like feed after 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 feed, after feed. I can't express that enough 
But the second half is going to be really awesome in this gameplay, so stay tuned for that, and this is going to be a fucking awesome time. And then the next thing that can help you guys about getting score and ranking up really easily is you want to pick a game type that you're good at, so pick something that you're really fairly moderate, decent at, so if you like playing Domination or Demolition, then go for it. If you like to play Kill Confirmed, which is another game type that people get a lot of score in, then I definitely recommend going for Kill Confirmed. Now, in Kill Confirmed, one of the things that you can possibly do is the easiest thing is collecting your own tags. Now, another thing that people like to do because everyone is a point whore is collecting other people's tags. So, what you can do is you can make a running class almost with a combat knife and you can just run around and take people's tags I know it's kind of mean but sometimes like I thank my teammates for getting the tag for me because I wouldn't have been able to get it myself so getting that extra 25 points that I wouldn't have been able to get myself can sometimes help you get up on your kill streaks and then that can get you up even higher so it's really nice to play kill confirmed especially if you get like a swarm and kill confirmed or someone on your teammate gets a swarm it's really nice right there you just saw the feed blow up hit the like button for that awesome feed right there it was like a a seven man right there and there's not even seven people on their team that was freaking insane so give me a heads up and a like for that because that was really sweet right here you see me i'm killing it in their spawn i'm just killing it capture kill after capture kill calling in these swarms i am freaking loving this game right now in my head i'm going f yeah dude check this out Fuck yeah, and I'm killing it. I'm killing this game, and no one can beat me. So my guy's kind of getting a little cocky, but I'm getting all these overall VSAT and load stars, and I'm calling them, and I'm like, look at this, look at that, look at this. I'm calling this in. What now? What do you think now? And these these enemy team, they're so mad you don't even know. Like, there was a kid that was following me, and he was just looking for me with a rocket launcher, and he was so damn mad at me. And my swarm just kept taking him out, taking him out. And he messaged me after the game. He was like, dude, that was a pretty good gameplay, but you're a faggot. And I was like, nah, dude, it's all skill. You got to stick with it. You got to keep it in the mentality. But anyway, back to what I was talking to you guys about. I was talking about how to rank up fast. And I was last talking about kill confirmed. So stealing people's tags is a great way because you get 100 points. And 100 points is a lot. And that can go a long way because kill confirmed you only get 50 points per kill. But if you take a tag, that's three times the amount of a kill. So that's like three kills in kill confirmed, which is really nice. So that can really help you get up on your score streaks. And stealing a lot of tags, like I think the most I've stolen from a person at once was like 32 tags in a game and I only got like 10 kills so that was like 20 tags that weren't even mine but I picked them up and also the best thing that can ever you can ever 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 rank up fast is playing Nuketown 24-7 double XP weekend which if you don't already know you know now it is this weekend double XP weekend is this weekend they're gonna bring out Nuketown 24-7 and the new DLC is coming out very very soon so I am so freaking excited and I'm gonna be playing all the maps and all the multiplayers and I'm gonna be having all these swarms and shit and I'm gonna bring out a nice zombies video and if you guys requested I might actually do the Easter egg that they have for that map that'll be really cool because it's not gonna be like any of the other maps that we've had before it's mob of the dead it's gonna be kind of like Alcatraz so it's gonna be really sweet the way that they actually went to Alcatraz and they saw all this st stuff and they got all these ideas so it was really awesome that we're gonna be able to see this and I'm just really excited to see what they're gonna be doing with all this next shit coming out so stay tuned for all of that guys this is definitely gonna be some awesome shit coming out in this next DLC but anyway back to what I was talking about double XP weekend this weekend it is going to be so crazy cuz this weekend is a nice weekend I have school off soon and I'm just gonna be playing black ops 2 all day so I just can't wait black ops 2 is my game this game has been so damn fun for me lately but that's pretty much it for this video guys if you enjoyed this commentary or the gameplay please remember to like and subscribe and if you haven't already go follow me on Twitter to find out when my videos are coming out because that is when you know that they come out because they come out on the second that's pretty much it for this video guys please remember to like and subscribe Follow me on Twitter. This is X Preston signing off. See you guys later.